welcome to the channel this video was created from the series by apostle femi lazarus titled cravings it particularly addresses the subject of pornography and masturbation and how to break free please do well to watch till the end and you'll be glad you did god bless you as you watch and don't forget to drop your comments below because there is something about sexual sin that invites shame you see an elderly man in his 60s they strip him naked on the street and they are asking him why are you defiling a minor those that will call the man daddy on a normal day and i'm saying explain you will not lose your honor Amen. let me pray it like this you will not dance to the beat of shame Amen. let me give you this um <laughs> this code anytime the devil seems to be luring you to do what is wrong say it out loud i will not dance to the beat of shame there's something your boss call addressing. That's they are drumming the drum of shame. So sometimes they are drumming the drum of shame in the in the spirit. Village people they want to look for a way to make this person useless, and that's when that urge start coming. Go and do what you should not have done. Say it loud and clear. I will not dance to the beat of shame. Yeah, you are still not saying it the way I want to say it. Say it loud and clear. I will not dance to the beat of shame. I will not bring dishonor on my name. I will not disgrace the cross. I will not bring shame to the cross. I will not dance to the beat of shame. As a married man, the devil is telling you somebody else is better than your wife. Say it. I will not dance to the beat of shame. Ha! Listen to what I'm saying. No pressure of sin lasts forever. It comes for a while. Once you stand in Christ and his word, it lifts again. Are you following what I'm saying here? Say it loud and clear. I will not dance to the beat of shame. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You won't dance to it. Though. And sometimes it is the urge to repeat patterns. Patterns. Saying do it. Start it. Go ahead. Enjoy it. So that when you lose the ground, your children will have to fight in the same ground. Never. Nobody here will fail God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, look at it. There is a system that the world is building to make nudity normal. There is a system that it is staring right at us. The world is trying to project nudity and make it like a normal thing. Get used to the fact that it's normal. In fact, there are certain, in fact, when you want to put a movie on Netflix, one of the considerations is that there must be a sin. Yes, all right, that attracts something. All right, you see, most of them, even when they are putting a sin that does not warrant anything like that. Growing up, it was very scarce. Once in the, when it was in the blue moon, you see a movie that they kiss inside. Even in their movies, they will never come close. Just hug themselves and say, hey. Then they move to doing that. Kissing, hugging. Now they are removing shit. Normal home videos. And they put 13 plus. Hmm? They put 13 plus. There's no part. They... So they, what they are doing is that they are building a system where you get convenient. Let me, let me show you this. Some scientists were trying to perform an experiment, trying to check um, the... Uh, ability of some rats to adapt to new environment so what they did was that they got two um, um, categories of rats as the specimens and the first set of rats they what they did was that they dropped them inside hot water the, the ones that could jump out jump out the ones that died died okay so they did not adjust immediately they got the second set of the rats and then they put them in a the cold water right the cold jar water jar and they put the water on the bouncing burner where right? the fire was under it and they were increasing the temperature was they were boiling and boiling the water as the temperature was changing the rats were adjusting okay before they could jump out they died so what the devil is doing is that he's building a system where you'll be gradually adjusting you get to a point where it is too late to be free are you following what i'm saying there building a system where if, if you if you watch a movie and there's a sex scene you always like to go back behind the rest to play it back you're already adjusting okay one of the ways to even be amazed is to check the search engine of many believers. You'd be shocked. There's an adjustment. It's building. Everything seems to communicate it. Advertisement. The advertising tire. Car tire. Use men that have strength. Walking. I lie. Naked women. Skimpy shirt. And skimpy skirt. Yo, women tire. How do they relate? Boxing. This is a fight of fist. People who are strong. I lie. It's one girl that will come and carry... What have we to do with you? A system. Making believers are just till you are trapped and it becomes impossible to get out. Very important. Pornography is very aggressive. 
when it takes hold of a person, it reads the person of the ability to do every other thing, including study, natural human relationship. Person can relate. Always locked up indoor. If you are struggling with pornography, don't have your prayer room closed. Pray where people can see you. Because you will no longer be praying, you'll be watching porn. Don't say, I generate my fire in the secret. It will become secret sin. If you are struggling with pornography, be, beware of locked doors. That's where it happens. Once you lock the door and off the light, you are gone. It will be a trap. Say, I just want to pray in isolation. You won't pray. And once pornography keeps going like that, you will no longer be able to fast. Because this thing can be weekly, can be monthly, can be daily, can be hourly. It can even be as bad as almost the whole of the day spent on porn site. It can be that invasive. It's aggressive, guys. It is aggressive. If, if all of these things I've mentioned, if you notice that quietly you are battling maybe monthly or weekly, then the ones I mentioned, you are surprised. That's where you are coming to unless you get help. So imagine somebody hooked on porn sites. The person will not be able to relate. They become antisocial. Socially distant from people. Can't connect. They can't even connect with women. Can't connect with men. It makes people prone to rape. Because you are seeing sexual abuse. Minors being defiled. It makes you prone to many things that are not natural. Very serious. And it has to be discussed. We have to know about it. It just doesn't stop by itself. It doesn't. It doesn't stop by itself. It keeps becoming aggressive. It keeps becoming serious. It keeps becoming dangerous. It keeps becoming... Oh, yes. You can even see things online. People in, in public transport, they are so lost. They are, they are watching porn. public transport. Somebody waiting at train station, watching, he's lost. The brain is wired to go for it. All is gone, is lost. Very serious issue. So when this thing comes, it seeks, it's like virus. It attacks, colonizes. It invades, spreads, multiplies. It's invasive and aggressive. Not like cancer. One of the things that makes cancer very dangerous is that it begins to spread without any symptom. And by the time people find out, it has touched vital organs. So you cut these safe margins, you spread again to other important places. And because sexual related addictions comes with oath of silence, that's the reason why it's dangerous. Nobody talks about it. Nobody wants to be seen as a pervert. And you have to get for help, you have to seek for help. Now, I'm about to enter into how to break free. And this is going to be very, very practical. How do you break free? Now, we need to first cut a snake's head. There's, there's a misconception in the body of Christ. That you know that something is wrong doesn't mean that you are sin conscious. When something is wrong, you should know that it is wrong. That actually shows that you have an active conscience. Your conscience is the police of your life. If you bribe and silence that police, then you are without defense. Is that okay now? And the more you give yourself to these things, the more you deaden that conscience. So number one, you cannot break free from what you are not agree, admitting that is wrong. That's the first thing. Accept that this is wrong. According to that Proverbs 31 that we read, say don't give your strength to women or that which invades kings, which destroys kings. So it means that pornography and masturbation is actually a, it takes strength of people. People become, in fact, people even become naturally weak because of the rate of frequent ejaculation rate weak they can no longer do things they should do why are you always weak like this i don't know are you not eating i'm busy i should go try it just go to the gym skip on dress skip <sighs> what are you doing with your strength hack people young man what are you doing with your strength god should be busy with you at this season don't trade that strength and i, I gave you an illustration this is the way it is. When God set his eyes on it, that, okay, this is a generation, I want to bring out people, my strong army for this generation. What the devil does is that he presents the same thing before all of them. And people can be in Sokoto, can be in Kano, can be in Medugri, can be in Lagos, can be in Oshu, can be in Ondo, can be in Anambra, can be in Enugun, can be in Potako, can be in Benin. And you discover when they come and talk, everybody begins to refer to a similar timeline when they found God. That explains the generational dealing of God. Okay, but there are those who could not say they found God because they were aborted before they mature. It is he that purges himself from this that will be a vessel to honor. When when um, Joseph Jacob told Ishmael 
that Ishmael, you are my firstborn, the beginning of my might. He said, you will not excel because you slept with your father's wife. We can now see now. It was not just Joseph that was tempted with Andama's wife. Ishmael too was tempted. It is the one that came out that gets the blessing. What I'm trying to say is that that pressure is not on only you. It is on everyone that wants the man to you want. Some things are not after you. They are not that important. They are after the man too. Fight, check what fight the grace you are contending for. Either before they receive it or after. So you don't walk in pride. So God does not leave to you. become a personality and not a person. Be careful. Be careful. I sat down, read the consecration code of Billy Graham. Clear things. Consecration code. This had it written out. I will never counsel a woman in the room alone. You go out for ministration. You are so powerful. Tell them, close the door, let her in. Counseling. Counseling. As a pastor, I don't really counsel again. No, I don't do counsel because I need to be prophetically sharp. And I don't want to be preaching and I can't talk because somebody has spoken to me about something. That's why we have resident pastors. So I can, the cutting edge can be sharp. So sometimes all this counseling, you stop being apostolic. I even have seen it. You, you got to, he's talking about me. It's what I told him. No, no, no. You cannot look at me. If you notice when you hug a woman, your body feels it. Stop hugging. Let them call you weak. It is better to be like that and you last than to be strong and you are cut off. I can't take it. Simple as that. You hug a girl that is not your wife. No, now, say, even if you hug man now, you can be suspected. So don't let me. <laughs> because this social media thing now, you're just going ah, to. not. You have, you have to think. You have to be where your enemies are so that. <laughs> not today, guys. <laughs> hug. Say, even when you're in the back, say, are you sure? You fine? Or you are cooling off? We have to be sure. You like a sister, you now find every means to hug her. Every means. You wait for the day there's excitement. People are hugging each other in church. You now you intentionally ignore everybody. <laughs> Say, I won't, I won't. You now carry that imagination for a long time. How do you break free from pornography? You must accept that it is wrong. You must. Two, exercise yourself to godliness. First Timothy 4, verse 7 to 8. Now, this is where people don't understand. First Timothy 4, from verse 7. It said, But refuse profane and old wife fables. Exercise thyself, thyself sorry, rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness. Is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and that which is to come. Exercise yourself to godliness. So let me explain this. Can you please give that scripture? Isaiah 10, verse 27. Now, um, it said, It shall come to pass that uh, the yoke of the Assyrians shall be broken off your shoulders, all right, and the, the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of what? The anointing. So, by the reason of the anointing? By the reason of the anointing. Now, please don't look at what I want to teach you. Open your heart to it. By the way, the major issue when it comes to fighting pornography is not the how, it is the willingness to be free. Because what the devil attacks primarily is the willingness of the person to be free. Because he makes it so sweet that actually the person wants to be free but is not willing. The person imagines, so I will miss this thing, two years without it. So we need to do it with the will. That's where the issue is. The willingness. Are you willing? Do you want to be free? And that's what Jesus asked um, that guy that was born blind. Do you want to see? Or what do you want? Because sometimes people might just sit down, but they don't want to be free. Do you want it to stop? Do you really want it to stop? Do you want to be free? Make it rhetorical. That's where the issue is. The will. Because that's what the consistency of the habit eat up. The will. I check many of these discourse online. People don't talk about the will, but that's that's the that's where the head of the snake is. Do you want to be free? That was the question he asked the guy at the at, at the pool of um, what's it called now? Huh? Bethesda. That's what he asked him. Do you want to be made whole? He said I have no man. Do you want to be free? That's the will. Because the how is not difficult. Where the problem is is the will. 
Do you want to stop enjoying it? It's poison sugar. It is sweet, but it kills. Do you want to be free? That's the question. That's the area. That's where the devil is. That is where the devil is. That's where the devil is hiding. It's around that corner. The wheel. Your wheel. Your wheel has been hijacked, compromised. It's not fighting your destiny. Just like sepsis, your, your, your what will be a defense is not fighting your organs. Do you want to be free? Do you want? Do you want his saving grace to bring you out? If you can get that right, the how is not off. It is the wheel. When you picture yourself without this monster, are you excited about what you see? Ten years, no going back to upon sight, no masturbation. Do you want to be free? Do you want to be made whole? That's the issue. That's where the issue is. It shall come to pass in that day that this burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder and this yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of what? The anointing. Can you give me another translation that gives this better? Another translation that gives this better. Thank you. I love this. Look at it. He said in that day, their burden will be lifted from your shoulder and their yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat. People by feasting fat on God outgrow burdens. It gets to a point the same thing cannot enter. See, you have to feast on God. You can't eat church and want the results and the dividends of sitting in God's presence. You have to love God. You have to grow. You have to grow. You can't say, I hate pastors. I want to grow. No. How shall they hear unless there's a teacher? You have to grow. The devil fight anything that can bring you freedom, including going to church. Some of you can know the struggle you went through to make up your mind I'll be in church. You have to get to a point where it's no guy's struggle. And one of the ways to do that is to join the workforce. Something must compel you. You can't leave yourself to yourself. You are not that. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. There must be a compelling structure. There must be, a, listen to what I'm saying. This thing we call family pattern. A structure can break it. Yes, sir. A structure that God has planted you in a way where the family tradition is an abomination. By simply obeying and focusing the spiritual family, you have escaped being pregnant as wedlock. Mm -hmm. Because it's not a custom here. You are not, you won without even trying to fight. I went to greet one of my friends and I, I found out when I went there that all his mates that were staying in that environment wake up in the morning, they are tiny rapper boys. Their wives are already there. Ah, okay. How come? The other of them impregnated one girl the other. How did you not impregnate a girl? Because I know it's not that deep. So he said, well, by the time they finished secondary school, that he went to learn keyboard. Said, so it was he was going there to learn keyboard every time. It was that keyboard he was learning. He did not know that as he was busy with the keyboard, some were also busy with other things. When he finished learning keyboard, he had already escaped just by the law of focus and dedication. Are you seeing that now? So when the Bible says that as the deer pants after the water brook, so pants my soul after you. The reason is because the deer, it smells and the animals that kills it can trace the smell. As we enter the water of the world, our smells disappear. We, are, we can't be traced. Just being busy with God, studying, praying, fasting, enjoying the fellowship of brethren. Family pattern is happening in those who ignore God. We have escaped. Our soul is escaped like a deer from the nest of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Listen, let God plant you. That's the way it works. I know this one like I know my name. You, you, you escape pattern without trying. Just by allowing the tide of God's structure. Are you following what I'm saying here? Allow it. Allow it. When you find a church that your word is, settle down. Then walk. Be pastored. You preach to everybody, but you pastor those who are on ground. You pastor those who have accepted the house. Are you following what I'm saying here? Very important. Very important. The will is where the devil hides. People, people are sick, but they don't want to be made whole. Do you want to be free? Do you want to stop? That's where the issue is. That's where the issue is. So, we break off yokes, not by trying to break yokes, by growing fat. Just enlarging in God. So when the Bible says in that First Timothy 4 verse 7, that exercise yourself rather to godliness. Exercise yourself. Um, where it says, please stand. Please come forward. All right. This is the gym instructor of myself and Apostle Michael Rappo. So he drills us. So let me drill him. He drills us. He'll tell me at the gym. Yeah. Um, five push up. You can do it. You can do it. You too. You can do this one. <laughs> so come. You know, when we started this gym, I think God is helping me too. It's much more. Am I correct? Am I looking fit? Okay. Just this stomach. That's <laughs> Are you with me? 
before you laugh, look at your stomach. <laughs> because I've tried. God knows I've tried. <laughs> look at this. Mm. You, you've been Jimmy for how long? Help me with the mic. This man will do some very funny things in the gym. I say, ah, am I not a man like you? Can it work? So you've been Jimmy for how long? 2015, sir. 2015? Yes, sir. That's eight years? Yes, sir. To build all these things? I've lost due to fasting. Sir. You've even lost due to fasting? Yes, sir. So if you didn't lose anything, you would have been more scary? Yes, sir. Way, way <laughs> more scary. Huh? Way more scary than this, sir. My God. He can do many things. He will hang on one pole and draw his weight, draw his weight, hang, draw his weight. The first time he said I should do it, <laughs> I just held it. I said, God will help me. He said, no, you can't. I said, I can't do it. You are an instructor. You are not me. <laughs> I say, I suppose you can't. I say, I, I say, I cannot. Okay. But you didn't become all this by gymming in one day. No, sir. How many times do you gym in a week? Sometimes five times, sometimes four times. To get this physique, not the one you use AI. <laughs> you know, when they started this AI thing, we now saw people's that you go eat the gym, my friend, eat the gym. <laughs> Even this one, they gave him one poof, guys. I'll see stomach. He's going to buy bread. I say, see, see your life. See, load 20 slices of bread. <laughs> so for him to be this, he has to exercise himself five times a week. It is not eat and run. It is consistency. Consistently exercising yourself to godliness. Till what you do every becomes once in a week. It is, listen to what I'm saying. Some people get discouraged that something that used to happen every day now happens once in a week that they are falling. You have not fallen, you are growing. You actually outgrow the body. That is the science of exercising yourself. You don't change when you, just because you went to the gym for one day. You don't change. You go again and again and again and again. So, one of the things he taught me when you go to the gym and see amateurs at the gym. You can see how much you just go to where you have the uh, um, and then push, use the leg and push, then go to the shoulders and push, then go to the back. What are you exercising today? So at the gym, you break the body into different parts and have chest day, huh? leg day. I don't like that one because you'll be shaking all the time. Say so you have to do lunches, lunch. Because lunch. I'm not trying to be a bouncer. I, 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 I just want to be healthy, period. I, I'm not sure what he has is not really my dream. Just... <laughs> Just be healthy. You no, know, I'm sorry. It's not, thank God for him and uh, thank God he's doing his stuff. I'm doing my stuff. But, uh, just be healthy. But to achieve that, because now you can't drill me again now. Okay? So, consistency. So, listen to this. Don't give yourself to exercise haphazardly. What are you dealing with? It determines the kind of book you buy. It determines the way you study. What are you dealing with? You are growing faith and character. This material for faith, this material for character. Not just any portion of the Bible. You can study topically, you study characters, you study storyline, you study history line and events. Be systematic about your spiritual growth. Be systematic in your approach to it. Are you studying on the anointing? Are you studying on the fruit of the Spirit? Are you studying on the gift of the Spirit? Break it down and approach it systematically. Are you with me? Exercise yourself. Your profiting will not appear in one day, but with time, it will show. It will. It will. Please help me celebrate him. You see some men go for all those men. Have you seen those muscular men who wear some funny stuff and pour oil in their body? Even in NYC camp, they sit in my camp, they macho men. Hey, oh God, just leave me. <laughs> but you look at their body, look at their back, you are wondering, are these humans there? But they gave themselves to the work. They broke their body into parts and exercised them. That's the science. It took you growth to get to this level you are in the addiction. It will take growth to come out. You outgrow it. So what do you do? Put a system in place for you to be growing. Just keep growing. And nothing is changing about my life. Keep growing. I did it again. Keep growing. Eh, it happened again. Keep growing. That's the science. And you get to a point. You become power assisted. You look for it. You can't find it again. The glory of the Holy Ghost takes over. It does. He's our helper. He won't leave you to yourself. But are you willing? With your sincerity. Coming before God. Acknowledging him. 
looking for his strength. He helps you. He helps our infirmities. You just get to a point, you can't find it again. You begin to remind yourself, oh, it's been long since I can't find it again. Don't look for it. Oh. There's something called power assistance. Yeah. When you drive a manual car, you drive automatic, you know there's power assistance. You are assisted power. Somebody is receiving assistance. Yeah. Yeah. And that will tonight is arrested for God. That will is arrested for you to be able to do what is right. That will is arrested for you to be able to do what is right. That will is arrested. Stay in the company of believers. Stay where you can grow. Stay where the word, where the word can reach you. Stay where you can be nourished. Stay where you can be mature. Stay where you can hear the word. Put a system in place. It is when you are idle that you remember pornography. Put the word on the phone. Put the word. Say you are busy working. Let the word be playing. You are not hearing, but your spirit is listening. You will notice that there is fire in there. You are edified. Your spirit is listening. Put the word. You are done with the word. Put worship, instrumentals, or prayer. Make sure you set structure for you to be able to burn. Are you following what I'm saying here? Leviticus 6, verse 12. Leviticus 6, 12. I round up now, all right? I round up now. Leviticus 6, 12. Leviticus 6, 12. Let me, let me read from here, all right? Um, 6, 12. Have you been blessed tonight? Oh, thank you, Father. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It should not be put out. It is when the cold is, the stove is cold that flies land on it. Keep it burning. 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 Somebody say, even if you are playing the video of people speaking in tongues, it's not the same thing as prayer. Don't mind them. Keep it burning. Keep it burning. Hmm? Your spirit is praying. You are creating an atmosphere for your spirit to respond to fire. You are creating an atmosphere. Keep it burning. Some thoughts won't land. Keep it burning. It's a system. You are not designed to struggle as long as you keep fire in place. Keep it burning. Is that okay now? All you have to do is to understand the system. Don't leave burning to go and face fighting it. Mm. Yours is to face Jesus. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you spot. He will keep you, sir. Stay with him. Stay with him. He, will, he, will, he, he keeps all that comes to him. Stay with him. And that's the science. Don't leave Jesus to start fighting. You are too small to fight it. He's older than you. Something that has mastered you, you can't fight it. Around to your own master. Who is master over the wind? Just keep the fire on. That's the science. Don't be like Abraham that the child said, this is the wood. This is the fire. Where is the sacrifice? Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And that's why the devil is fighting church attendance. You cannot get the result of being seated in God's presence outside his presence. You can't. Praise God. That we exercise ourselves to godliness. We break free without even trying, just by loving Jesus every blessed day. And that's why I laid the foundation. You must understand the righteousness, consciousness. Because of the days you will sleep. You know that God is not trying to kill you. You are not starting over once you make a mistake. You are somewhere in between. You are progressing. Is that okay now? You must understand that. God is on your side trying to help you. He's not there trying to cut you off because you fell. Keep the fire burning. Thank you, Lord.